I'm Johnny. And we're, we're back, back with, with the Tiger news. news. First up is an important reminder. This Thursday, November 11th, school will be closed for Veterans Day. A veteran is someone who has served in the military and is no longer serving. Tigers, if you know a veteran, feel free to thank them for their service. Now, next up, let's take a look back through our spectacular Jagathon. <laughs> Flash I saw? And now here's the fact, I mean Mr. Kentucky, with a few important reminders about the playground. Mr. Kentucky, I heard there are some new rules for the playground. That's right, Jaden. We do have some new rules. One of the main new rules is that when you're kicking a ball on the playground, on the blacktop, we have to keep the ball on the ground. If you're on the grass, when the grass does dry up, you'll be able to go out there and kick it freely. But while we're on the playground, we got to keep the ball nice and low on the ground. And I heard there was a new game we didn't play? Absolutely. We're going to be playing Foursquare on the playground as well. And I'm going to go over the rules of Foursquare with the kids during PE next week. But remember, one of the rules is when you tap the ball, you just bounce the ball over into somebody else's square. Thank you so much, Mr. Kentucky. Oh, you're welcome, Jaden. Thank you. Thanks for, for helping us keep safe, Mr. Kentucky. And now, please welcome our classroom foodie with this week's breakfast and lunch updates. Hi, fellow foodies. My name is Annabella. On Monday, for lunch, we'll have chicken strips. On Tuesday, we'll enjoy Papa Murphy pizza. On Wednesday, lunch will be a delicious homemade bean and cheese burrito. On Friday, we'll have yummy turkey sandwiches. Is anyone else getting hungry? And now welcome our nutrition reporter. Hi everyone, Polina here, the nutrition expert. Last week we had carrots. It takes them four months to finish growing. Carrots are one of the most sugary vegetables in the world. Plout. Plouts are mixed about 75% plum and 20% 25% apricot. They have smooth skin, like a plum, and sweet, candy flesh. Clouds are ripe when they are slightly soft to the touch. Bosk pears have been painted and photographed by artists throughout history. To test if they're, they're ripe, gently press the top near to the system. The more you know. Wow, I wonder what 
Other fruits and vegetables have shown up in paintings and photos. Maybe some tigers will get inspired to make fruit and veg veggies art themselves. Now let's check out our student art showcase. Hello, Bella here, and let's take a look at what our magnificent tiger artists have created this week. Now let's hear it for our Master of Humor. Hey everyone, Life Out, your Master of Humor is here to bring the laughs. How does the tree get online? It logs in. <laughs> Why do you never trust an autumn? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Why do cows never sit still? Because they're always on the move. Cow. Let's welcome our weather reporter. Hello everyone, Jackson here, and let's look at the weather outside our windows. This week, we'll start with some raindrops, so bring an umbrella. We'll see low temperatures in high 40s and hot in high in 60s. Autumn is upon us, so remember to bring your sweaters and stay warm. For you guys, I better get out my sweaters. And now let's welcome our birthday reporter. Greetings, Ruby here, and here are our birthdays for this week. Ulysses in first grade, Natalie, third grade, Antonio, third grade, Rome, fourth grade, Aubrey, sixth grade, and our very own cameraman, Dominic in sixth grade. We at Tiger News wish you a very happy birthday. Well, folks, that concludes this week's episode of the Tiger News. We will see you again next week and wish you all a happy, healthy, safe weekend. Make it a great day or not, students. The choice is yours.